hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are following me on social media and if you're not the link is just going to come down below so make sure after this video you are you will know that i am on a smile journey with a company called your smile direct um i have done a part one of this video before and it was probably my most popular video i've had a lot of follower increases and a lot of questions since so i just wanted to do an update video really in my first video i think i was on set three of my um like retainer braces and I had only just started my journey so um, just to give you a quick speed I'm um, quick speed give you a bring you up to speed very quickly um, if you want more information on how I came across them how much they were and everything else um, there is a link to the first part of this video below and please watch that video because I'm not going to repeat all of that again basically in short I wanted invisible braces similar to Invisalign um, unfortunately Invisalign were a little bit out of my budget at the moment so I was looking for a cheaper alternative that had good results and I came across your smile direct on Instagram um, and I saw lots of videos posted on there but it was really hard to tell because they had a lot of people promoting on there that were like um, like Instagram celebrities I guess and had lots and thousands and thousands of followers and it looked like to me anyway that they already had straight teeth so I didn't feel like I had a genuine honest review of what I was getting myself into before parting with money which is why I wanted to do like a little um, YouTube video on what my experience with them is. I have um, just put in set nine of um, my braces last night um, so I'm quite far along in my journey. I've only got 10 sets and then they do a review and decide if um, you know it's similar to my digital imaging or if I need to do further retainers so I will then do another review post my week 10 and post a few weeks later just to let you know whether I did continue um, with more retainers or whether my journey was fine as, as it is so some of the most popular questions I've been asked recently um, so one of them is does it hurt so I kind of explained in my first video braces in general hurt anyway because your teeth are moving out of the nine sets one set in particular stood out to me a lot and that was set six and I won't lie to you when I say I was in pain for about a week out of the two that I was wearing them um but my teeth really moved in that week and I think that's when I saw the most dramatic change from one set to another and they were my four teeth at the front I am actually going to put on the screen right now and hopefully I've edited it properly so you can see it. The digital imaging of um, my teeth before. So this is an image of my bottom teeth before I started the treatment. And this is a projected image of what my teeth should look like after the treatment. And again, this is before my treatment on my top teeth. And this is the projection of my top teeth after. Finally, here is a projected image of my teeth overall. So what you will see is over time, they kind of promised me that my teeth would uncrowd at the bottom. So I'm going to take these off so I can show where the change has been the most. And you will see it from my digital imaging. And I did promise a lot of people who um, Instagram messaged me and... Um, right on my YouTube that they wanted to see what my teeth look like without the braces so here they are they are pretty much getting in line and my top teeth are still a little bit out at the top just there but apart from that I am really happy with the results the thing that I do have to say is I have been left with a few gaps so I have a gap on the tooth next to my front teeth there and I have a teeny gap in the middle of my two front teeth. But when I say it's teeny, it is so small. And I think it's more the shape of my two front teeth. The gaps really to other people are probably notice un unnoticeable. But obviously I see the gaps because they weren't there before. Um, and I think the main reason why they're there is because my teeth were so crowded and overlapping. And when I say they were overlapping massively, these four bottom teeth. So that is these... I couldn't even see that there were four teeth. It, it looked more like three because these two 
were overlapping literally half over each other and the reason why I know that it has worked is because this tooth here has a little bit of a mark where the tooth next to it was overlapping which is a little bit gross but obviously when I get my teeth whitened and cleaned from the dentist after this is over you hopefully won't be able to see that. A lot of people comment that I don't smile with my teeth and they are right. I did used to smile with my teeth um, probably when I was early 20s before I got my wisdom teeth um, and then I started to hide my teeth because that's where the crowd is started. So I did have braces when I was younger and I had them for three years but as you become an adult and your wisdom teeth start to grow your teeth if you you don't have a retainer will then eventually start to crowd and overlap. I, I didn't have to have the treatment where they um, like I think it's IVL or I don't know if I'm thinking about laser. I'm probably just being really blonde right now. I It's not IPL, it's like IVL or something like that where they basically sand down in between your teeth in order to give it a bit of room so that they can move. But I didn't have to have that because I've had my wisdom teeth out so my teeth could move. So for me it has worked, but if in doubt, I guess ask your own dentist. Um, I've asked a friend who is a dentist and also my own dentist and they seemed okay with me getting the treatment. But there are obviously people out there who are skeptical about it and why it's so cheap and the reason why it is cheap is because it cuts out you going to a natural dentist it's all done virtually so the other question I got asked is how long do I have to wear them so I do wear these for 20 hours a day I don't stick to the 22 and I have to be honest with that because it can be hard especially with social events etc to be able to do that has it worked for me well as you can see from my digital imaging yes it absolutely has worked for me and was it worth the 1200 pounds I paid absolutely it was worth the £1,200 that I paid. I feel that I'm smiling more, I feel that I'm more confident showing my teeth, I'm not embarrassed, I don't feel like I'm constantly hiding them and I actually don't mind showing my teeth in selfies. I mean I still love a pout who doesn't but I have to admit that it has totally been worth the money for me and the time. It's given me the results that I wanted years ago in the space of like eight months. I mean, I can't really say whether the results are going to sustain or not. I guess I can only tell you that when I do a part three or four, or maybe I'll do a part four next year once it's been a year without the braces. I think the next step is they will provide me with a retainer. Um, I'm not exactly sure how long I have to wear the retainer for. I think it's like 12 hours a day or it might be like you start off at 20 hours a day and then you bring it down to 12 hours and then nights only um and then obviously it's a retainer so I do have to wear it for life I guess um at night but I'm willing to take that risk in order to get the straight teeth if like me you have lots of personal events coming up in the next year or so and you really just want to boost your confidence and there's just something about your teeth that is bothering you then I would definitely definitely recommend that you at least just go and get your impressions done and get the digital imaging it doesn't cost a lot I think it's 99 pounds um for the impressions kit and the digital imaging and I think sometimes your smile direct to offers where they offer you the impressions kit and the imaging for free um, and if you go into their branches and have the have the impressions done there I think that's free it's so only if they send the kit to you that you have to pay the 99 pounds um, I was exempt from that because at the time there was an offer so if you can maybe get in contact with them and um, get in contact with the customer services and find so in short, I can absolutely recommend Your Smile Direct. It has really helped me with my confidence. It has really helped me in terms of looking forward to occasions, photos, um, and even recording my videos and taking pictures. I feel like I'm less self-conscious and I feel like I just show my teeth more even when I'm talking. Like, I fully open my mouth now, whereas I used to like talk like this so you wouldn't see my teeth. And that is like the biggest thing for me. I think it has really made a difference and um, I've noticed that I get a lot of comments when I do smile with my teeth and take pictures. So that has been a plus for me. If you have any other questions, then obviously, again, as always, feel free to inbox me on Instagram or write on my YouTube channel comments box below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. If you have anything in specific you want me to cover in my next video about Your Smile Direct or about my journey with them, then again, let me know and I will try to include it. Um, just because I found it so 
difficult to find really good genuine reviews i want to i want people to feel like they can come to me and ask me questions hope you keep following my smile journey on instagram and youtube and thanks for watching bye